I have a great life, I really do. To see my granddaughter, I take the trolley to North Station, and then I take a train there to Lowell. But years ago, taking the, the trains and buses there were awful. Number one, I couldn't get on when it was crowded. Uh, sometimes I'd have an anxiety attack, and then when it stops at the next stop, I would get off. I'd be sweating and everything. Sometimes I even started talking to myself on the train. It's, it was crazy. I mean, I'd, I'd yell, hurry up, open up, open up this door, you know? And someone on the train says, hey, what's wrong with you? And they turn around, and I'll come over and kill you, you son of a bitch. You know, so I don't do that no more. <laughs> I can converse with people better. I can talk to people. I don't have to make believe I'm someone that I'm not, you know? I'm just Richie Adams, you know? Recovering alcoholic and addict, Vietnam vet, you know, who you know already went to hell and come back, you know? I was just so messed up. It was just so messed up. You know, I know the, the booze and drugs does that to people, but when I was doing it, it was like, I really don't care what others think. I don't care about what my family thinks. The pain uh, inside, it just tears at you. Not just at your insides, but in, in your mind, too. Like, there's no way out. No. Either I'm gonna kill myself, or someone's gonna kill me. I think a lot of it had to do with in the military. I was robbed, I was assaulted uh, in the Philippines, and uh, assaulted sexually. And when I got back on the ship, I had a I didn't tell nobody, so I just kept it that way, you know? And uh, that really uh, kind of screwed my head up, you know? Because I became a very uh, angry guy. I mean, I'd get in fights, I'd go into a bar room, you know, hit, hit a guy with a bottle over the head if he looked at me wrong, you know? I'm serious. And uh, I heard about this shelter, uh, VA shelter down in Boston. And, uh, and I went there. First I said, well, you know, what's PTSD? And he says, post-traumatic stress disorder. I said, sounds like something I could have. It was healing for me talking to my counselor because I thought I did something wrong. And uh, talking to her about it, it's just more or less felt that I, you know, I didn't do anything wrong. I was a victim and, uh, and, I, was, and I was ashamed. And I'm not ashamed today, you know. She was a big help. I do have a great life. I really do. I'm content. I love people. I, you know, I go out, I walk. If I want to walk down the store, I grab a newspaper, read the paper, do a crossword puzzle. And I look around, I said, man, I can't believe this. I says, I made it, you know? You know some people have said, made what? I says, I made it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a human being today, a good human being. You know, I wish I knew I had this earlier, you know, but I always believe that everyone finds out about themselves sooner or later in life. And it's never too late, you know? 